Hi ladies, how are you all? It's me, Syra, here today with another video. Hope you're all doing really, really well. So as you all know, this month we're marking the month of activism towards um, domestic violence and we are creating awareness for um, women and young girls. So the colour of this, this month, this theme is orange, as you all probably know. So during this month, any videos or any recipes I'll be making will be kind of contributing towards um, the awareness of this month and I'll be cooking some orange orange foods orange recipes so this week I decided to make a really really tasty lovely yummy or um, I was about to say orange soup a tomato soup um, yeah so I've got, I'm gonna be showing you a quick recipe of how to make a really lovely simple um, tomato soup and this is just a little way of us showing our contribution towards the awareness of this month and hopefully you all can benefit from it Right, so I've got here, let me just show you my ingredients. I've got some tomatoes, I've got a range of different tomatoes, I've got the rainbow cherry tomatoes. So these are small but they're so packed with flavour and that's why I really recommend that when you are making um, tomato soup, you use a variety of different tomatoes. I've got the normal um, big salad tomatoes and some orange, um, red and yellow tomatoes. I'm going to be using some onions garlic and I've got some parsley, mint and one vegetable stock cube and also as this is a month of orange and but also I'm going to be using it for its um, great beneficial um, attributes this is fresh turmeric and we're going to be using fresh turmeric in our soup and it's just so good so if you compare the benefits of fresh turmeric with powdered turmeric the, 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 the benefits are way like like this a fresh turmeric is um it's like an instant natural antibiotic um it's a natural uh antihistamine it's got so many benefits to it so i really recommend um that you try and get a bunch of uh, uh turmeric and try and use it as much as you can in your in your cooking instead of the powder form now i did also mention um before that i will be making tomato soup along with uh, dough balls. So, in order to make the dough balls, I had to make the dough. I made the dough beforehand because it needed to prove um, for a good hour and a half. So, I will tell you quickly tell you how I made the dough. So, this is a dough ball, uh, a dough of uh, whole wheat flour, and um, I've got a different variety of seeds in here. So, I've got some um, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, and um, uh, chia seeds, and that's really to make it a kind of a wholesome, um, really beneficial, healthy kind of um, blend. And this is going to be, these are going to be dough balls that we're going to dip into our soup. So, uh, and of course it's got yeast in it as well, and that's what's helped it kind of prove. This was proven for about an hour and a half, and now it's, it's come double in size. So I'm just going to punch it out and put the air out and um, take the air out. And the reason why I'm doing this now is this is going to take about 15 minutes to bake in the oven. And um, so I'm going to put these in the oven first before we get along with the soup because the soup is not going to take time at all. Right, so what I'm going to do is just oil my hands and I'm going to make little small um, dough balls. All right, so I've got the baking sheet in. I've put some baking paper and I'm just going to oil my hands with a little bit of oil. And then I'm going to get the mixture of the dough balls. And I'm just going to make little tiny balls. Uh, not too big, not too small. I'm not going to go into doing a really, really round shape because I'm not a perfectionist. And really, uh, the whole point of a dough ball is just something to dunk into your soup. Okay. So they don't need to be the same size. They can be different sizes. Okay. Alright. So we'll do about nine. And make sure you leave a bit of a gap between each one because they will expand in size. Oops. Right, that's that, and now I'm gonna bung this in the oven. 
Okay, we're going to get on with our soup now. So the first thing I'm going to do is get a pan. I'll take you to the cooker in a minute, but I'm going to get a pan and put some, a few, I put a few drops of olive oil in it. That's while that's sizzling. I'm going to put the onions in the pan. So let me just get the onions in the pan, and then we can get cracking of what we're going to do next. All right, so I've got the onions in the pan. So the idea is we're just going to saute the onions, not to make a curry, um, not saute them like too gold to make them a curry, just get them a little bit soft and sweaty. And we're going to add some garlic, and then we're going to add in the tomatoes. We're almost going to make a paste-looking... Um, a, a, a curry kind of looking paste um, before we add in our vegetable stock and uh, that's going to kind of just really complete our base for our tomato soup and that's how easy it is it's so simple so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to peel some onion some carrots and you want to try and get the carrots and the onion sorry the garlic and the onions in at the same time because they need about the same kind of amount of time to kind of get their flavors going so I'm just going to peel these car um, garlic all right we've got four to five really small garlic cloves which I'm going to add in with the onions and they are going to saute with the onions while that's happening I'm just going to show you there we go so they're kind of golden brown now and that's it I don't want them to cook any further now we're going to add in our tomatoes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first before adding the tomatoes in, I'm just going to add in the turmeric. just going to peel the turmeric slightly and cut it into small pieces. Okay. Your fingers will go slightly orange, but don't worry, that will kind of wash off. Right. And I'm going to give it one more minute before I add in the tomatoes. Right. So just going to chop all of these tomatoes up in small pieces, not too small because everything's going to go in the blender in a bit. Okay, all our tomatoes are nicely chopped now and we're going to add them in with the onions and give them a really nice saute. Okay. Okay, so here's our onion, uh, here's our tomatoes. As you can see, I haven't cut them too small, I haven't cut them too big, not in particular order, because everything's going to go in the blender. But before it does, I want the tomatoes to get nice and juicy and soft. Alright, so we're going to cook the tomatoes um, like this for another 10 minutes. And make sure you do it on a slow, on a slow heat because you don't want the tomatoes to burn from outside but not actually cook from inside. That just looks so beautiful. All right, so the tomatoes and onions have been cooking um, on low heat for about 15 minutes now and they almost, um, if I touch the tomatoes, they're so, they're so squidgy that they will just break apart in seconds and that's really the kind of form you want them, want them in. Now what we're going to do now is we are going to let this cool down and then we're going to put it into a blender get into a paste form on the other hand we're going to also start making um, our vegetable stock to do that I'm simply just going to get the stock cube just put it in a jug and add some hot water I'll give you all the measurements and ingredients and tell you how much of what I've used so you know it's, it's just so simple, so easy. So this is going to be our stock, stock cube that we're going to use. I'm going to put that on the side, um, give it enough time for the stock cube could, to properly fully dissolve. Right, and now we're going to um, wait for the mixture, for the tomato mixture to cool down and I'm going to put it in a blender and get it into a paste form. Okay, so tomatoes are slightly cooled down, not too much, but that's fine. As long as it won't break the blender, <laughs> that's all that matters. Right, so we're going to just pour this in the blender. And then I'm going to get this into a paste kind of form. And then bring it back in the pan. And it's going to cook a little bit further with the stock cubes, with, with the um, vegetable stock. Okay, all right, there we go. Okay, so I have blended the mixture, and this is what it looks like. You can't get more orange than this. 
this is what I call a tomato soup already but obviously it's a bit thick so we're gonna cook it a little bit further and we're gonna add the vegetable vegetable stock in it too right so this is gonna go back from the cooker all right so the tomato soup the paste is on back on the cooker we're going to add in the stock cube the sorry the vegetable stock and also some spices we're just adding in pepper and salt um we've already got flavor in the vegetable vegetable stock oh God, sorry. and also sorry and also um we don't want anything to overpower the, the taste of the tomatoes so um, we're not going to add in any other kind of spices uh, or anything like that. We're going to let the tomatoes take over the show. Alright, so in here we are going to add in our stock. Okay, and also the spices. Going to give this a, a bit of a mix. And now this is going to cook on a very low heat for about 10 minutes. Okay, so I'll come back to you in 10 minutes. Meanwhile, our dough balls are just ready and they have come out of the oven lovely, golden and crispy. Um, so this is just going to be so tasty to dip into our soup. It's been 10 minutes since our soup has been cooking, so I'm going to take it off and put it in a serving bowl now. Okay, so our tomato soup is now ready. You cannot get more orange than this and half of the reason for it to be this orange is because of the turmeric, because of the fresh, fresh turmeric. Now we're going to top this up with some parsley and I've also got some mint here as well. I, I love mint in everything as you already know. All right, and then we've got our freshly baked dough balls which I'm going to dunk in my soup. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. Oh, got everything flying over. I'm going to take the first bite. Mm. And that is a perfect ending to a winter night. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you try this at home too. And if you do, send me a video, send me a picture and tell me how it tasted. I will have all the ingredients and the recipe, the method of how to make this very simple soup in the description box below. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.